Good evening, good evening, Fabian. I see you, Fabian. Sound check, sound check, guys. Sound check. Mwaiseni, mwaiseni. Mwaiseni, mukwai. Amufite, 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 guys. Welcome. Mwaikara shani, mwachoma buwanji. Morton, I see you. Hi, my son, Raggy, I see you. Josie Piri from Atlanta, good to see you. Thank you for your support. Tiago from Undola, I see you. Tuposha nye mkwai. Tuposha nye. Mwaiseni, mwaiseni. Good son, mwewa. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwaiseni, mutambo oke. Ramusira, ramusira, ramubola. Isen mukwai welani welani. To sound check. Thank you. Sound check. Good. Josie Piri, thanks for your support. Ragi, yes. See you, my son, Morton. <laughs> yes. Continue watching. Cynthia Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Grab your cup. Today I'm drinking tea. Grab your tea, your coffee, whatever you are drinking, guys. It's gonna be a long night today. Let look at Kuno. Today, if you win, Kuno, Kuno, California. Greeting you in your time zone, guys. Grab your coffee, your tea. To the party, she. To the party, she. Welcome to Queen Pumi Show. Welcome to QPS Show, guys. QPS. To apply the first QPS number. Chale Peshe Chidishina. Welcome to Queen Pumi Show. Welcome, welcome. A lot of new followers. We are excited to have you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sunday, we are going to add you. I have to have like 30 minutes to myself before I add anyone. So I have to uh, I add my panel, Mamachka Moneka and Anik Machpa before we open the floor to everyone. So just be patient, guys. We are just getting started. We are going to add you. This is a people's platform. Queen Pumi Show is there for the people, for the youth. This is a platform, a human-based platform. We are nonpartisan, and uh, we are a human rights organization. My name is Pumulo Stumbeko. I am the founder and CEO of Nangoma Foundation and Global Human Rights Alliance. They are both legal entities. And I am also a certified human rights consultant with United States Institute of Diplomacy based here in Washington, D.C. So I am fully legitimate, guys. I know what I'm talking about. That being said, if you want to be Yes, Mama was unblocked. Yes, we managed to figure it out. Jackson, I see you. Yes. Jackson Pala, uh, we, I'm asking you to respect Mama Chika Monica. You know, we have all different personalities. So this is a, uh, this is a page of, of love. There is no hatred here. We are trying to promote one Zambia, one nation. I expect you to respect everyone. Mama is a big woman. She is a, a grandmother. She's a mother. Her children watch when she goes live. Her family is watching when she goes live. So I'm asking you to exercise respect for everyone, especially older people, guys. I'm asking you to show respect to Mama. You know, one thing I would like to say is that uh, Mama and, and I grew up at a different time. Like you are, you are different generations. People who were born in the 1950s, they were raised differently. Born in the 60s, you were raised differently. Born in the 90s, you were raised differently. Born in the 2000s and 90s, they are, they are millennials, which is most of you guys. You were born differently. 
so i'm asking you to respect um to respect our mothers to respect women yes we can't have a nation where people come on the platform just to insult people that is not in order guys this is not my mission and uh i will block you if you are disrespectful i will block you on this platform this platform is for good intention you know i am a human rights advocate and the mission of my organization is to inform educate and share information information travels two ways so in as much as i'm sharing information with you you can also share information with me we can educate each other guys they say sharing is caring you know sharing is caring so guys based on that note let us wait for people to join in send me your location i'm always happy to see your location beatrice in Kole. hi beatrice good to see you chipoyas i see you chisanga kalumbila watching kalumbila munchende matilda <laughs> my biggest cheerleader yes matilda thank you so much <laughs> i receive all those emojis with love i try to to respond back to you yes guys so today the topic is the world aids day and also we continue on women's rights because we started yesterday on women's rights women's rights women's rights are a huge 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 uh subject to 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 look at yes so kalasa our our offices right now they are all uh they are remote they are glow they are on the in the net they are on a cyberspace we don't have physical location because we have not yet been funded we are a new organizations we are less than just a year old we are going on to two years yes so it'll be two years in april i think march next year titus from kawe i see you from Botswana, susan good to see you we are waiting for mama tell mama that we are waiting for her here the show has started we are talking about the world aids day today yes today uh we are talking about aids very uh sensitive subject a lot of us have lost people have lost friends and family to aids so today is a day which is recognized by the world health organization to sensitize people to bring awareness to people about hiv so i'll just get started guys they'll join us so the first thing we'll talk about we'll talk about the the world uh the world uh aids day 2022 and i'll just start talking about uh the world aids day which, which is commemorated today and I, i'm just going to read this from um i'm going to read this from the world health organization site i'm going to read this from the world health organization site uh which says the global hiv response is in danger even as hiv remains a public major health issue that affects millions of people worldwide yes over the last few years progress towards hiv goals has been stored resources have shrunk and millions of lives are still at, at risk as a result hi paul how are you i thank you how are you ma'am and uh also how are you to the viewers out there the viewers are fine 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 i think we scared them with our topic most of the people they don't want to talk about uh, the aids you know <laughs> yes so we have but, uh, uh, yes but we'll still continue we'll still talk about it go ahead yeah as it is today it was a commemoration of world aids day I think there is nothing new about what AIDS is. It's just how we have taken it with that lot, with that little ignorance here in Africa. But uh, uh, look at the sign of the the way those letters they do stand for. I think this is where most of the people have, have remained.
to understand because it's acquired immunodeficiency virus. So where the issue to do with immunodeficiency, I think this is where people, they don't get it right. So they feel like if someone reaches to this stage, people, there are a lot of stigmatization, which is actually take place in our societies where we come from. But uh, that shouldn't be the case because the world where it is, uh, as we as we speak right now, it is being compromised with a lot of things and uh, it's been polluted in and out. So if you have some kulanda to won't say, Chimo, de maka no no. So I think today people, they were explicit, they sat down, they would discuss, and there are people that were coming out open that we saw, uh, because today it was actually worldwide. I don't watch on HIV. I think uh, I'll, only say, I'll only say once, because uh, uh, HIV AIDS, like for AIDS, there are people that born with it, even HIV, and there are also people that, that stick to medication and they have not even uh, stage to AIDS, but they have just remained to, to, to HIV. So here, the other one say AIDS. Now, AIDS, it's a normal disease, but it's not safe. So, apart from the nature of the stigma, I think we failed to, to understand. And you know, AIDS, it's a, it's a prolonged the illness of doing around the party but I'm a very accurate yeah I carry because let's talk of one STIs STIs they are more dangerous than AIDS they are people that are on medication and the go on got a safety circus when they can I could have a no queen look at there's a good way to wash up and like sugar diabetes all those they are dangerous but when you actually stick to medication at this go at the end I have a corner queen so this time it has become normal. There are people about to have some COVID vaccine. It's just the same as the people that are living with it. It's normal this time. So we don't even feel like people to start stigmatize that yo, we are a normal. So they are, they are, that's why we are a day. But on December, but to me, on the other point, I feel it to be somewhere Negrated somewhere because Chimone and Pofuya Pat Morai Pera Fiati, you ought to adapt Pera Kakapo, a Kakum Kaladida Moraiki for a Pera government, and the Pera Matri and the Damashan. What is needed is Kisa Pamo. We sit down. Anyone can be at that point. Who do you want to talk to about a pain a party? So, what it is, Yakubat, the Ros, we are commemorating the Eds Day, that we have a problem with stigmatization, Pokana. And if you know that my family, my wako, our wako, filafi, ni aba kwebati, they are they are some of the things that maybe they, they are living a positive life. There are even some couples, aba kwebati, some is actually post, some is negative. We have seen we have seen those, and they are called discounted dis, discounted couples. I'm sure those that want to live like that, I think they are they, they are prescribed to the medication that they best suit. So, so, uh, so they need the flowers, quite some prep, quite some corner, pep, all those things. So this time we live in a normal environment. Now, Kumushi say the message has reached. So I think he, I'm just happy today that it's not quite up with zero stig stigmatization, but the, the commemoration yeah, we are, we are world edge day. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Mama. How are you? Thank you. Me, my mom, Benny. I went to show him ten. The queen and she, she, baby, and I went to the number of black in the body. We know. I went to the phone. I'm a match. Come on, I got to attract the other. So I think it's one of the party age. We sane a lot to allow is an afoot because title is 18 years old. Now I would go to Monaco to the land of Papia AIDS. But uh, we are. Just going to talk about AIDS and then we'll end this and then we'll start another live. So this one is specifically to commemorate the World AIDS Day. And to start myself, I would like just to observe a minute of silence to respect the lives of the many heroes who have been lost due to this disease. Yes. 
So myself personally, I've been affected with the loss of many people, many close family friends have perished, relatives. So I would just like, it. let's take a minute of silence to remember our fallen friends and family uh, from this disease, and then we'll continue. Okay, I think our minute is up, guys. Share with at least one person. If you're just joining us, we were observing a minute of silence for all our friends, families, relatives, neighbors, everyone who has uh, perished from this HIV and AIDS. As you know, in the beginning, 30, 40 years ago, when this disease came, there was no medication. So it was just a matter of people waiting, people to, to perish. And then through the years in 2022, now we are at a position where HIV and AIDS is like any regular disease. So I would, would just like you to tag anyone, guys. This information is very important because Zambia, we are among the top 10 countries in the world with high HIV infection we have to embrace this topic we have to discuss it we have to share knowledge about it we cannot shy away from it and that is what is killing us ignorance will kill you so let us talk about hiv especially on this day let us talk about hiv and aids openly it doesn't matter if you are living positive, if you are positive, then you have to live a positive lifestyle. You have to take your medication. You have to be sexually disciplined. You cannot be immoral. So we are here to encourage you, if you are living positively, continue the positive lifestyle because if you have it, it is just like any other disease. People now, they are scared about diseases like, uh, uh, you know, cancer. Cancer, there is no treatment. But for HIV, it's a managed disease. You can live with it. So, so I'm here to encourage everyone to say, if you have HIV, live a positive life, lifestyle, drink your medications. So that's number two. Then Next top, the next point under HIV is if you are not infected, please live, be aware of HIV and live a preventative life. Do not, not expose yourself. Do not expose yourself. Do not have a high risk sexual behavior. And a high risk sexual behavior is having multiple sexual partners. high-risk behavior is having multiple sexual partners. We know that you can also get HIV uh, infection through cuts, bruises, even through kissing. You can get infected. If the person you are kissing has an open wound and you have an open wound, you, the disease can be transmitted. So we are talking about living positively. Reduce your sexual partners actually don't have any if possible try to abstain until you are married so we are saying let us reduce infections educate your if you have youth girls boys who are reaching puberty educate them give them this information do not let girls and boys go and experiment 
about sex because you know sex is natural everyone when they reach puberty they start having those feelings and then the next thing they want to have sex but before our children reach to that point of trying to engage in sexual matters let's educate them you if you are not infected she's saying if you are not infected then you are not affected yes so this platform unis is for to talk for people to educate people if you are not infected it doesn't mean you cannot be infected tomorrow unis language if you are not infected you were today put you are negative but if you're a sexually active woman or man you don't know where your partner is going unless you are mm. telling me that you need you are celibate you are not sleeping with anyone in your whole life then you can say it doesn't affect you but anyone who's sexually active whether you are in a marriage or you are single or you are just a young teenager who's going through puberty this conversation must be discussed this information must be shared to young children, young girls, as they start growing, ask them, do you know about HIV? Do ask the kids, they will tell you. A kid who guys, do you know about HIV? What is what is it? How do you understand it? Let the kid tell you. Then the, from the answers of the kid, you start educating. The whole idea of Unislam was saying, if you are not infected, then you are not affected. This is what is causing high infection rates in certain areas of the world, especially sub-Sahara area. There are highest infection of AIDS and HIV in those areas. Why? Part of it is our culture. We can't talk about sex with our children. Guess what? You will let your child go out she is 10, 11, she will get raped, or she will meet a boyfriend her age, they have sex, or maybe we have seen the sodomizing and raping, and there's also a belief to say if you sleep with a young girl, a virgin, you'll be cured of AIDS. So this is all these discussions, you must have them. If you have a young boy, a young girl around 9, 10 years old, it is time for you to start talking. Awareness is very, very important. Only through awareness are we going to stop the spread. So, but we have said that if you are infected, it's not a death sentence. It is much better because there's medications. You can live with it. You can live actually almost normal life with it. But what we are trying to do is that we avoid infections to increase. Now, if you go, I'm on the world. I, I, I am on the World Health Day page, and they are saying that uh, in the last few years, because governments have reduced funding to these programs, the infections are actually increasing. Like Zambia, infection rate is increasing. That's why, if, if you will follow this uh, show, we have asked the government to increase funding. To increase funding for uh, actually not increase funding, we ask them to, to change the law so that people who are raping people should actually face jail time. Yeah, people should uh, face jail time. If somebody rapes a young girl, the first of all, they have to test the person who's negative, the, the, the rapist, they test him and the victim. And if they find that the, the victim is positive, they must be charged for rape and also uh, charge for spreading a deadly disease because some of these people who have uh, HIV they don't know how they got infected so they are trying to turn around and spread the disease to everyone so in most of these countries if you infect someone with the HIV knowingly it's a crime you actually go to jail maximum 10 years So we are seeing this, like, and then the other thing, we have lots of messages in our inboxes to say the old men, some of these old men, they go to colleges, universities, and prey on young girls, you know? 
they sleep with young girls. These girls are coming virgins from their mother's homes. They go to university because they see Brazilian hair. You know the social trend which is happening right now of wearing expensive things, expensive clothes, being going to expensive places. These girls, their parents, they sacrifice to send them to college. Once they go to college, they're on social media, they see all these things, they want them. And these men, old men, married men, they pack their vehicles out of our colleges and universities, picking up young girls. Now, those young girls also, that we need education in our colleges and universities because these are grown adults. Nobody forces them. So if they're educated, to say, do not waste your life over a Brazilian here. Look at you, look at you, when you start working, you will buy your own Brazilian hair. Do not sell your body to a married man whom you don't know his status. So we are saying that young girls, anyone, if you are married, reduce your stick to your wife if you are married stick to your wife if you are single <coughs> reduce your risk by sticking to one partner or abstain so that is awareness guys and then the other thing that i want to talk about is privacy we need a law to be instituted where if someone goes to a hospital they are positive they must nurses should keep confidence Otherwise, if there's a breach of confidence, these nursing people should be prosecuted, sued, and their license taken away. Somebody's medical condition is a private matter. It's a privileged information. So we have to clamp down. We have to ask our government, start lobbying to say protect information. Medical records are protected information. These personnel, medical people, they are disclosing, discussing people's medical statuses in bars or with their neighbors. It is wrong. So I think that is it that I wanted to say about the World AIDS Day. We are going to end this live and then we'll go to another, we'll open another live for the other topics because this is just specifically for the World AIDS Day. Mama, you can come in. Na totela sana. Uno ushikuba kwa nimpumi. Ushikuba tu ibu kishava nensu. Awa tu watemenwe. Awa afane no uweri ogo. Ilie nshi tata kwa liyama. Takwa liyumuti. Na ine uine pano ni nkwa tewa lupuwa lwa ndi eluna chila wapenda. Kwa ta about seven or eight. Awa afano uwele kwa ntanda kwa nga. Pantu huu uwele nchi bemba. Awa kala mbabale uita tu uwele kwa ntanda kwa nga. Na angu kapela busungfi. Uvubulu wele kwa HIV and AIDS. Mchibe mba. Kwa kala mba wale itati uvubulu wele kwa ntanda kwa nga. Na angu la kapela busungfi. Na kale uvubulu wele kwa wali. Evu liya wale la nda chichifuba cha ntanda kwa nga. Nyububu ini uvubulu wele kwa HIV. No mba tawafu lilenge si uvubulu wele kwa HIV. Wishile fula mchalo. Tuavika kona... Ubu shiku waku sefia, ubu lwele kwa HIV. Aka leifuwe lo kwa yari ubu lwele kwa ntanda uwe ngeru tuwa lekula. Fani tuwa likuwe te saa na ama tui. Wale mwone kena vya patari patari, takuwa linoku vika kwa ti ubu shiku waku sefia, ubu lwele kwa HIV. Mwawo di monse au. Fani tuwa bantu baka lewa likuwe te ama tui haya kumfwa. Kanshi ubu lwele, ubu lwele ubi sana. Ubu wakwe vatika. Kanshi ngana ubu kwa ta. Ufile wa kwa toku ichindi kwa kukalamba nganshi. Ta ufile wa kwa yore tandanyo uguluwele. Vambibadi wa kwa ta attitude hivi. Na ngui mivele hivi. Ia kulanda tika inena inewanga mbukishefu. Na inena laya njama mbukisheko mnani. Chilie chisela chibi sana vata atana wa mayo. Pantu mwapo kufipa isha vantu. Awe mbi. Kwa li mavantu awa chisuminisha wangu. Na vantu awa chisuminisha. Umutu wa rika la panga ndari ichindi ka. Hava lume vaya kunse vaya leto uwele kwa ntanda kwa nga. Vaya leta ka pela kusunsi. Vaya leta ka red barret. Vaya leta ka komando. Vaya leta ka buju. Vaya leta na ka old soldier. Kanshi kubu uwele mwewa na wanfugu. Uwele yomu visaka.
Kulifanu, kulifuema kwa tomu wele mwese. Tuishu ya kutila, ububu lwele kwena, mulu wele mwesu kufuema mkwata. Tufuyo kutia, uku ishita protect na ngula, uku fire and shila, iyo tuinga isungi la mo, uku kana la tanda nyo ububu lwele. Pantukwa liso mti, tatufuyo kula tanda nyo ububu lwele yo. Ewa ububu lwele kwa liya siya sana. Nga wate mwa sana musa sule, ta wate kale pacha alwe nshifishi. Na ngule chula shia nyutu mulu ngwa, awe shua mka konka na nabu. So kanshi mwa vashitata, vashitata na imu mwa vashitata. Na tumfo mtile chao cha Zambia, eki ipa top number six chalo kumaluwele. Ewa number six pa wawo, uluwele kwa HIV. Ii mga wala tati number six chalo cha Zambia, which means 90% of our Zambians, bali walo uluwele. One percent was very affected, no very one tanda wanga. So, can still cool him well, Oko Quato Chindica, no Quato Marco Pereira, Pacutino, who will let Uchepa Neko. Oh, who will let a one tanda wanga which are a chess which are Zambia. Now, whatever another number known from eight years, Ukisa Scarapatu and the Shinga years. Umula nguwa kutila wa shitata wa nguwa lwa mugu nguwele kwa kapela usuzi. Na nguwa nguwele kwa ntanda wangu. Na nguwa shitata wa kwa tatu komando na tu red barret. Na tu guju. Tawa kwa toku ichi indika na nguwa no no. Tawa ichi indika na nguwa no no. Valese ndo kwa nguwele nga lilu wala. Ale ya mkutanda nya kuma university nga kuma college na kuma schools. Ukula shila wa na wa nono. Badi ya wa nono na wa wa na wa kashiana na wa kula na wa uyo uwele. Nga wa kula na wa uwe no uwele. Bala ya no mba. Nga wa ya sa kuma college. Bala sa nga wa lumendo na we na wa lumendo wa na wa wa iche. Ta upapo umu anu umu anakashi. Ta upapo. Ta upapo. Aya isanga fiatina te mwaka kashiana. Kanshia kwa kakashia na kaa ni kwa tuwa mwere kwa ntanda wanga. Umuwa na haya alowela siye kuli tu red barret na tu komando. Mba mama tipa you can continue she has lost connection. Thank you Queen Impumi. Again greetings to everybody following this show. Um, as we observe the World AIDS Day, which also falls um, under uh, certain rights uh, um, of, not, of no discrimination, uh, we would really like to observe unspeakable joy, good health, um, prosperity, happiness, peace of mind, great accomplishment, and we remain hopeful that a drug to this uh, uh, to this predicament uh, is found, and uh, to this condition will soon be found. Uh, more, and uh, we wish everybody that that's infected and affected um, to find inner peace and uh, greater accomplishments that one day we will we will conquer and come out victorious with this uh, hiv aids that has affected the world um you know and uh, really it is something that does not need any stigmatization on anybody because it can affect you in any way by you I mean your family, yourself. It is not something that somebody clearly goes out to go and get. It catches you like any other disease, diabetes. I myself am a diabetic patient on insulin for 35 years. I never asked for it, but I continue being hopeful that one day we will find 
the right medication to conquer this ailment. And so I wish to encourage each and every one of you that you're not alone. You are with us. You know, we hear your cry. We, we suffer with you. And it's not, not something that must be rejoiced by anybody in society, you know. And so be happy, be merry, continue with your life, take your medication like I do, and uh, live a positive life. I live a positive life. And I would like, like everyone to live a positive life. You didn't ask this to be upon you, but it, it happened. And so together we will fight. Together we will conquer for a better health. Thank you very much, Queen Impumi. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Actually, I'd like to appreciate you for sharing your confidential information that uh, you are living with diabetes. So that in itself, Mama, you coming here in coming on a public platform to disclose your information is what I would like to applaud you because your condition, that diabetes, is just right now, diabetes, the way it is, is just as deadly as having HIV or AIDS. It's a medical condition. It means your body is infected and, and you have to take medication. So we are appealing to all Zambians. If you know somebody who is living with any medical condition now, I'd encourage them to take medication. That's it. Take medication, live a positive lifestyle, avoid high risk behavior, and uh, that that's it. Avoid high risk behavior is key. Sexual behavior, abstinence, reducing sexual partners, you know, taking your medication. So we have to talk about it because it is alarming. Zambian numbers of infection, they are increasing. In other parts of the world, they are reducing. But in Zambia, they are increasing. So, Mama, I have a question for you. Why do you think our infection rates are increasing in Zambia for HIV? Because it seems in other parts of the world, they are, they are containing H HIV. The numbers are reducing. But in Zambia, the numbers are increasing. Why, why do you think it's that? Um, well, I think uh, the numbers are increasing because of behavioral um, uh, habits in Zambia, behavioral habits where um, I blame the parents sometimes and I blame uh, the adults, especially now, more so the people that are being infected with HIV, the ages have come down, you know, it's, uh, it's children of 14, 15, 16, they're in their teens and they're becoming infected with HIV. Because our children of today do not fear anything. They want luxuries, uh, they want good life, you know, and so, so they do not mind, uh, uh, again, which I will consider as a taboo. When we were growing up, we never uh, dreamt of going, anybody, uh, going out with anybody who was as old as our parents. But life, has changed, the world is evolving, and, and pe people see nothing wrong with having a relationship with someone who is as old as your parent. And uh, some people actually say, I will not die alone. I got this infection from a prostitute, and so I will give it out to a prostitute, to, to others. So we as uh, you know, we here, we are advocating to the entire world to listen and 
you know, be mindful of what is happening. Why should somebody cut your childhood, you know, where, you know, you will live with this disease for the rest of your life? I hope not. I pray one day that they will find the medication to end this uh, pandemic. But seriously, it is increasing because of the lifestyle of the people today. And I think we need more peers to educate our children to refrain from these activities. That's the only way we can halt this disease, you know, especially in Africa. Uh, funny enough, when I went to Canada in 2004, uh, when HIV AIDS was really rife, I was actually told that here in Canada, nobody dies of AIDS. That's what I was told, because when I went to visit the, the elderly who, uh, who were sick and, and on um, palliative care, was told nobody dies of AIDS. Everyone here dies of cancer. We don't call it AIDS, we call it cancer. You understand? So I took it like, then it's a shame if you call it cancer. You have to address the situation, you know? There's no need in hiding that everywhere people are affected with AIDS because in accepting what AIDS is all about, it's only then that we can work together and, if, and find a cure to this pandemic, you know? So again, it's, it's really the behavioral attitudes of, of people, you know? They're always thinking, no, it will not catch me, but it will catch somebody else. Because AIDS, has no placard on the face that I am HIV positive. People are living healthy with AIDS. And so it's just about us looking after ourselves and continue to guide our, our children and instill good qualities in our children's lives that will reduce the number of people infected as well as affected by HIV AIDS. But, but having said that, I would like to reiterate that we remain positive, you know, and you know, we are with you. We wish you good health, you know, happiness, peace of mind in your day-to-day -day life, because I think peace of mind also contributes to you getting, you know, better. I can speak like this um, because I have diabetes, but you know, you, usually when you are down, trodden, and miserable, a, a disease thrives in your body. But if you are happy, you know, and hopeful, you tend to live longer. I'm talking like this because I have done it for 35 years. Thank you so much, Queen. Good, good job, good job, Mama. <laughs> I know it's not easy. It's not easy to take insulin every day to live with that, but you have done it. So you are a testimony. So diabetes is not this. Is there is no difference between diabetes and the AIDS because it's a lifetime disease once you have it. And there are two, two types of diabetes, I think. One is genetic. So I think that, that's the one that you have, you know, because other ones, they come due to diet and other things. So guys, we are here. We are sending a message of hope to say today is a day to, com to commemorate AIDS, to acknowledge it there, to talk about it. And I'll just give Give a statistics, a few statistics, statistics before I close on AIDS. We are, we are going to end this live because it's specifically for AIDS. We are going to end it, and I'm going to put it on YouTube, guys. A lot of people they are not on Facebook, 
So I have a YouTube channel and you can subscribe to my YouTube, but also I do post those same YouTube videos on my page. So we are here to educate, inform, and share information. So if you know somebody who, in fact, everybody should be concerned because Zambia, let me look at the key statistics. This is in, uh, in 2020. So 22 years later, I assume this is worse because our morality has decayed. So in 2020, we had 1.5 million with HIV, 11.1% 11, 11 of adult population have HIV, 69,000 new infections, 69,000. Guys, this is alarming. 24,000 related deaths, 24,000. In one year, 1.2 million of Zambians are on antiviral medication. So guys, charity begins at home. Start educating our young children, eight years, nine years old, start talking to them about HIV. It's out there. The same way we are talking about COVID, the same way we should talk about HIV. So I think I end here. We are going to end this live because this is specifically for the, to commemorate this uh, day, which is a dark day for most of us. Myself, I can count five close family members whom we buried. Some of them, we buried them when there was no medication, you know, there was no medication. We watch them suffer in agony until their last breath. And some of them died when there was medication, but it was you had to pay to pay three hundred dollars a month to get those drugs at that time when the medications first came out. So I lost a sister. I lost a sister because there was no drugs. Then I lost a brother. The drugs were there, but we couldn't afford to buy the drugs. It was $300. That is almost 20, 30 years ago. And then I lost other family members whom were the, the disease attacked parts of the body where they couldn't recover. Even if they were given those medications, they could not recover. So this subject is dear to me, guys. Friends, all my friends, I'm telling you, I'm over 50. I don't have any friends. The ones I went with to school or college, they are all dead. And they all died from HIV. And, and most of them died because there was no medication. And when the medication was there it was too expensive for them to die, to to uh to buy and those who started taking medications the drug was not yet refined even if they were taking the medication they were still dying from AIDS so for me this is a passion guys educate your children if you're not even your children your friends you know Everyone should be having this conversation. If you have a friend who has a risky last lifestyle, sit them down. 11% of our population is infected. So if someone has got a risky lifestyle, if he sleeps with the 10 people, at least one of those 10 people will HIV positive. One or two people. If you are a man who is engaged in a adulterous behavior, Sit down and think. Is it worth it? Because even if you're taking medication, if you're not living positively, you might get a type 3, type 4, maybe to shaka no home. You are going to bring stress on your family. And what is going to happen? When you get sick, it's the family that, that is in problems. When people get sick, it's the family. Some of the people, they get sick without, 
people bring it, those diseases to them. But some people go looking for the disease. Their lifestyles are pathetic. Promiscuity, guys. Girlfriend here, there. Boyfriend here, there. Married man here, there. Immediately, a married man starts talking to you. He's a high risk. Any married man who's leaving his wife to go find another sexual partner is a red flag. Run away, run for your life. Vacation. Nami papata. Please. That thousand dollars, that Brazilian hair is not worth it. If you are not infected, a married man comes to you, run, 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 run. That married man who's going after other women when he's married, that's key, risky behavior number one. Because the married men, most of them, they don't stick to one girlfriend. They have a lot of girlfriends. But I should my daughter's nanny, Papa, pick a young man, even if he's broke, build a life together. Life is not all about money. What good is a fat bank account when you have all these medical conditions? Because AIDS is like tricky. It can attack your, your brain. You can have a stroke. You can have many complications due to that disease. You are lucky. Those people who are just on medication and managing it, they are lucky. But there are some people who, are, who have that disease and they still have complications, you know? So this message is to my young girls. Mwewa and her daughters, tag a friend. Tag a young girl. Share this video to people in colleges. A married man comes to you. A married man is number one high risk because they have a wife at home. And that is risk behavior number one is having multiple sexual partners. Do not do it. Just run away. You have a choice. So I end here, guys. We are going to end this live. And then we'll start another live where we'll be talking about women. This is specifically for the World AIDS Day to celebrate it. And uh, Mama, you have last words? I'll just read a comment uh, um, that has been written by Feni Chapewa. Uh, she says there's a trend also of incest that we need to also target, which is true, you know, uh, incest, as well as abusing children. We had a program here where a child was being abused from the time that child was four years old. Again, that has contributed to the spread of HIV AIDS. Yes, we agree, you know, incest has played a very big role as well as abuse of children. So all these things, all these factors, they matter in life. And, and so we here, we are, actually creating awareness we had a very long topic about abuse of children you know and we will continue propounding on this because it's only through us advocating for uh, about all these uh, ills in society that you know will help the people you know to to really look after the young ones those with no voices and uh, and, and those who go in for material gain refrain from or from all these vices. Thank you very much. Thank you. And before we close this uh, chapter, I'll just like to say, uh, uh, Paul, do you have any comments before I close? Okay. So Paul is gone. So before we close this chapter, I just want to say that um, I know, uh, you know, it's fashionable to have a boyfriend and have all these things, but you know what? It's not going to be fashionable when you get that disease. You know, because a lot of people, some of them, they don't even go for voluntary testing. It's just when something happens, maybe they are sick, and because there's mandatory testing, they are told that they have this disease, you know? So I just want to encourage everyone to tag somebody. This video, I'm going to put it on YouTube. 
some people they are not on facebook so share into uh, this video on uh, on youtube tag somebody you know check your status check your, your status if you are married check your status if you are a wife check your status if you are a husband check your status go if you have a boyfriend do not have sexual relations until you are married and if you feel that you should have the sexual relations before you get married go for testing together don't let him go alone he can manipulate the results we have heard those stories of people manipulating results so if you're going to be involved with anyone do the the tests and go together to the test clinic your life is all you have take care of it dearly take care of your, your life and if you have young, young girls young boys in your house start educating them tell, tell them the statistics just start the conversation about you what is AIDS. Yeah. Make it fun, make it a quiz. Like, do you know how many people are living with HIV? Do you know how you can get HIV? You know? You should be having these conversations with your children, your eight year olds. Have them, nine year olds. Start asking quizzes about HIV and then you start educating and you go from there. It is too late to educate a 14 year old. It is too late. So what we can do now for the 14 year olds and the 20 year olds is damage control or preventative information. If you are not infected, have abstinence. 21 year old, 25 year old, stick to a sexual partner, one sexual partner get tested if you change a sexual partner get tested these are the bold conversations you need to have do not even ask about somebody's bank account before you ask about their status this this should be your first question if you are in the dating market your first question should be hiv status because guess what that person will infect you and you won't even enjoy that money that he has. So question number one, if you are, we are looking at all the age groups here. I'm just summarizing it. We are starting from Wakadoli by eight year old. These are our treasured, what, what treasured species, I don't know what generation. Trade generation generation yes some of them are born with it so they know how to manage it but those who are not born with it we have to start educating them in the house mama family now quiz them by them do you know about this what do you think if you do this start planting the seed then we are 14 years old number 14 years old we don't know what they have done but we can just tell them to say do abstinence if you want to do anything do the tests and then if you want to test go with the person to the test not no go together otherwise 14 year old teenagers we just say abstain your body, you cre focus on creating your career. Twice the number of 25 years you go. I test your, 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 your whatever, test your status and stay away. And if you change a partner, make sure you do test every time you, you change a partner. That's it. That's, that's, that's Zambia, we are up there. And Kuru, uh, government they have to implement laws to protect and prevent reinfections from uh, increasing further 
because the numbers are already escalating. The numbers are really high, you know. Zambia are only 20 million. Our infection rate is higher than Kunoko America, where there are 350 million people. Why? Because there's, there's things like testing, disclosing. If you, are in a, if, you, if you have an infection, you disclose to your partners, you know. If you infect someone, the law is, is going to come on you. A fine and jail time for infecting someone knowing with, with HIV. So we end here, guys. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of a sad day because Zambia, you know, 10%, we have all lost somebody. Yes, Mama. Uh, there are certain couples who live together and have no idea that their partner is actually living positive. And on that case, test uh, we can uh, we can use you know and it's not fair wadidwala ulanumuti tawai bomu nobe you know hello but bambivala landa no kulanda tishrefa anka fedeka na ino ampelo yugu duwele na ina na ina ndefo kupela kubambi chibi icho Shabana, our neighbor Kachula, Gawapelum noble who would wear it, Nawaka for Ngoga Sungaba and Ninani. Tonga did while I wish that an anguish mile. You take preservatives, you know, especially for the children that you are leaving behind. Especially. <laughs> I don't want to discriminate, you know, I really don't want to discriminate, but it's been a trend, especially for men, you know. You are taking the medication and you decide to keep quiet. Please, I'm not discriminating, but it, it has been, you know, very common from the male, from the male, you know. They keep quiet that they are sick and they continue taking the medication. Then when the wife is pregnant and they, they, they have a child in the marriage, that child doesn't survive, and then they blame it on the woman. You can't be killing children all the time. But they don't really come out and tell the wives that I, I am living positive you know and then the wife also gets up and goes and starts looking for other medications to stop having you know uh, to, to to you know to help her uh, uh bring up those kids that are not surviving you know and she yeah. When the, 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 the situation is very clear, it is not right. Let's be honest and sincere in these marriages, you know. And you thank know, you, oh, Mama. I can uh, thank you. I just want to comment before Mama you come in. Uh, this is the pet this is my life. Nana nyeva nomba life yandi. My 
my life, why I am single, why I left Zambia. Do you know why I left Zambia? I had lost friends and family where they perished from AIDS. And because our men, Zambian men, they don't believe in sticking to their wife. If you don't change this life of I'm gone. I told him. I had three kids with a guy. I'm like, if you are not going to change, this is my personal story, guys. I told him, I'm saying, I have buried friends. I buried a young sister. Do you know how painful it is? She was not a promiscuous girl. She died at 24. My young sister. So that ripped my heart. When my young sister died, it ripped my heart. At 24, she's been gone almost maybe 30 years. And I was in my 20s too. Now, when I said, married men have high risky behavior. Now, I buried my sister for this thing. If you don't change, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Up to today, I've been here in 23 years. I met somebody eight years ago who I am with. And that's why I am single. Take what you are in can, about in never Nalisa Rolisha Penatina Lafwa. I saw my sister Muno Muafwa. My sister died from half bam letter letter eight sister one bam with fire. And many of us, we are seeing all this. Uma, no, we now monetary land and now we color. For me, I just now I have three girls now. I could have known, but now we shall have now. We shall have to go in Ghana for who can sing Ghana and Nani. I looked at my family, my mother was just a poor teacher. Now we shall prove that you are going to remain on the internet. You will be going to sing Ghana. You will remain on Galeta Edspano. Nishi, I will never did they open the streets. And you know what? That's what brought me here. That is what brought me to the states i'm like i'm done you know what i am out naya hello i would rather that to me and and god answered my prayer made it possible until i got those kids and we started the life here together even if i drop dead today i have done my part i did not wait for somebody to bring me a disease because when I'm on a very public and very frustrated, um, I'm in a land and I'm in a man book wind. Mamona, but I'm on a very valley end. Um, I'm in a yoku, but my women, because of our bodies, that disease is a tree pie. One, you know, because the nature of our bodies, when I'm on a very given up So, my friends, I'm a mini pang and the papa few partner. Can you allow the name of line that to allow one? They are gone. I want to have a voice. Sorry, sight. The kids were left young and they have been to you know how it is to grow up without a mother. I can't even imagine because it never my wife feed it when I was a real grown woman. You know, my mother had grandchildren when she died. But I can't imagine a mother living about 10 years old. Because some of these women over stepmothers. That's why we have all these orphans in the streets. So I'm talking to you, the you woman there. My local and depending on the results, whether positive or negative, move forward with a change. To say, Pano Panganda, Tapani Fiakula, and Dauko Buchila, and Aleke. Namura Namaya, I can't move soon, Gaba, Namulash, no more Lelen Gama Street of Fan, because when I'm a man, I'm a very happy fire, because the Fikamukat Mumala. 
they have those diseases they live but ama nandi ni ame ingiba alifuwa bari kaba na bale chulo luse i can't be there but these are conversations we used to have naba nandi pidianga mwaliku atama meni haba lumebe enu pide bale nda pamo haba lumendo matabali angala kuno tubashi atawa inete iti mbashi akala tafia ayo kuna inina kichiro those women are gone my money the floor is yours i'm dying Na tote la mkwa hii, na tote la sana. Na chia mkula hili kawe shikuru, wachila shikula. Good job, grandmother. It's a blessing. <laughs> Ala kwe na ilili ya shiriabu wele kwa ntanda wanga, na ngubu wele kwa kapila usumfi. Ngubu wele obu, ni mbola ma irin vale mokutila. Wa shtata, ukula ya mkunu hili, Nama ARVs kunchito. Ala fiso tu kopo tu amu tikuloka. Eko anui na waka shuku ablo kuishiwa. Abaka shiwa le muna fia titaru wala. Kanchika agaru wala. No mbaga mwa ton ton kani. Uyomwa umeo le chitecha msamu. Finisha di kutemu. Nisha le fwa yoka fwe. Uku abula iwa kuishiwa kutila uriyali wala. Ubuhu lwele kwa ntanda wanga kapela busunfi. Kakapela busunfi ni kariya. Kariya kashishi. Kika ingila mumataba kariya. Na nguna mustaka. Amataba ya 10,000. Kariya kashishi na unkarikamu. Amataba yose ya kapela wanga tamubi ya kapeswa. Nga tamubi kile momuti. Eka kapela busunfi. Eka shisha waka wana mubandi. So kashiba shitata nga na ukwa to uwele kwa kapela busunfi. Uvobu lwele igu sunge, wemu inepalo wele, koku tuwala kuwa iche. Ndemi yewa mungu kula ndo kukala ambasana mchano cha zami. Awa lwele, awa lwele majority. Bana awa nun. Nka mwa ya kufipata ala awa na bali asama. Awa na awa lumendo na wakashana bali asama, bali wale chile chile. Elwe chile ngele sana uvobu lwele kufule sana mchano cha zami ya ni insala, insala. Insala kapo hondo kala leto ubuse vanya. Eno vana mayo va muno va iba veri busi. Lero ni nenga va mufuwa ya tamu ishime na wino wino. Nga tuwakula example ya kwa uri ya mayo wa ilera na truck driver. Truck driver mweva tindefa wa unga fuilishe. Mpe lako sex. Nja fuilishe chako. Insuna ya lanjipaya. Na lako pe la 500. Na e na haya ukuwa wula na protection tapari. Aya kumana na umyo mwa umyo kwa mwa kupilisha mshu imu wa umya jiru wala na mtaru wala. Ukumwele na kuliasa sanga na tuwaki na iya. Malu wele yanga sendele uya mayo. So umungu wele kwa HIV and AIDS. Vashtata na wambu kishawa na wanono. Mchano cha zami. Ero vambi. Vafisa mumi yoto kamufi puna. Hali tule chipune mwafisa. Utuwotoro tuwatu ulungwa. Utu hulu ungo, utu wato olo, tuya, tuya, tuya. Emu afisa, muni motoka. Nga afika pa kinyo mgaraji. Kaili kwa isa na meishi ya kushita nomu. Hachi uleru wa ingira. Bana mayo echupo teshi pikisha klabu. Echupo teshi pikisha klabu. Echupo ni insansi. Tawakwe welefe kakatika katike na ukakatila fekumwa ume. Ichila nga timuna ya kakatila wuna nga ni mbumbo koya. Kaili walato nato nga ya tino banga nafumakuri umu wa meka mkuli yeishi. Kaili wewe ompa ndo taleta. Vala aleta na vaka kunchito. Na soti kutu mino umu wa umepa maile. O soti na ipo kitchen. Na safu ya mbale. O safu na ipa. Alipa maile ipa underground. At soti tapadi. Kwa umu wa 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 umu Mbani wadu, tini ni, ino tulimo nombe hii, bada mayo. Tulimu chawa, chawa business. Stand venture into, into any business. Venture into any business. We are in a business world. Tulimu chawa, chama kwevo. Inende maine mamachika mwenekana, ya mkushitisho tumala yana kwevo. Ya mkwa hivaku inipumi. 
Apo pene mwananda, ndefo kuchitafi adu kwe bati. Ama human right number one, all human beings are born equal and free. Born safe, equality, gender equality. Na munga, na mwina mwina mwaba, equal. Uyuale, leta fifte kwacha, no uyuale leta fifte kwacha. Ngan, uyu kwe tira kwa aishi ingicha wama po. If someone is making more money than the other, the better. But when I'm on the money last week, I come catch up on TikTok. A young girl, she was like a teenage on TikTok. The video went viral, and she was like, "I'm way." Ule wamo amet data ten pin. Atiwa us tomorrow pera po ten pin. That that is prostitution number. So it means you are going to sleep with the mom who will have a ten penny. He will want more than that. He will want more from, from you. You are selling your body, but also you are selling your health. Married women, get off your whatever and go and make money. Support your husbands. Ba mama chika moneka, koma ireni po na pari wana mayo. Wana mayo na woi misango, shino shiku na ashiru wana. Na ashiru wana. I can see what you have to do. It's still doing sale here AIDS because I want to wale it in a mlandu pari ati AIDS title. So I want to wale shiri avengi. Mwaka na kere po kakula isu. Epo kakula isu. Mwaka na kere po kakula isu. So we are going to close this and open another one to say to Taito Yara and women and marriages. No, but I put a tula isala, if I no fear, to know. Banamayo is when you put it up. Immediately, I'm a peralesa. They are pangila for business for tea or quate if you're a fire. That's why you put it your Kuruala Manueli. Umuna Wakushe Mibidi. Tell Kuabana Mayo in Gabulo, Mibidi Wakopula Shitisha. In a shamona Wasamulo Mumini Akantemba Casido Banamayo Namuba, Navana Mai Mamaweli, Abana Mayo Kula Muksha to Benten. HIV and AIDS, Muzambia, and now Ufula. Take Sumasan. Now, when I'm my own class, <laughs> no, 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 Zambia chizi ya chifu mfuru. Bana mayo no mbelo ba pena kubuchende. Ino shita tunera ndapa wali muma bade fukuli bola. Gaba akolu wa no mba ni sole soli. Mwe vanda lama. Musasule uno. Taba kwe tene fiyaku chita no bakula akolu wafi. Elu wale akolu wafiyo. Ala boku wa chishita lama nekole wafila shita mwaba na bredi. Ukula wafi. Umu tukula nuhina 2,000 a day. Mwadi mwana po ini. Ichi chalo cha zambi ya po chifikiri na chibu bami. Chinje nba, chinje nto piki tuya kuli bana mayo. Ayo wana tukula, we are closing to Atuala Isala and then we'll open a new one. So thank you guys for watching. We are going to start, continue women's rights. So we are going to open another show. We are closing this one. It was just specifically for the world. Eight day. Thank you so much. In closing, I just want to say, let the government put in laws to start prosecuting anyone who's, who's spreading AIDS knowingly. Because um, Queen Impumi, thank you very much. I am asking, why are we closing this page? Why can't we just uh, go on to our because second Because of the subject? title. Because of the title. Oh. So when people, oh, okay. when the I, viewers I, I, come, they see, they look at the title and then it interests them. So the title is World Health, whatever, 
AIDS day and people they don't want to talk about it a lot of people they are in denial they don't want to talk about AIDS okay the only reason I was asking is because I've tagged I've tagged a lot of people today and most of them are on this page so if you're gonna close it then let, let me start Will you, the people you can just again. copy it you know what I, I okay. Anik, copy it copy go to that post and uh, copy the, all those names and paste them in the, the new in the new uh, live. Thank you, guys. We are switching over, switching gears. We are talking about women's rights, equality, and cheating, and all that stuff. 